Hello Cancer, welcome back in. I'm running late. I know this is your December edition. Let's see Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. What messages come through for you? Cancer, reverse the roles if needed, switch the cases. Try not to force a reading on your situation, right? So Cancer, what do you need to hear? What's happening with you? What's coming up? Anything and everything? Wow. Oh my God, like this card. Uh, I did your reading. The last reading I remember I did for you. It was showing up. And this is here again while I was shuffling, it was showing up and now again. Detaching yourself from something, Cancer. It's time to walk away from something. I see there is a new gate here that you're entering. The new, yeah, for a lot of you, I see you and you're moving towards light. You, you're moving towards this glow here. And uh, you can call it as a divine consciousness that I feel. Whatever this is, you're moving towards that. And um, okay. There's something you're walking away from and you know that to move towards that uh, glow, that, that, you know, very beautiful energy, you will have to walk away from something. I see you continuously looking backwards. Continuously looking backwards to something, we're going to clarify what's that. Somebody you're dealing with is all tied up, Cancer. Somebody's feeling a little uh, constrained here. This person can see you walking away. This person can see that... Uh, uh, you are deciding to do something different in your life now, but this person is all tied up and uh, yeah. Okay, they, they're doing nothing to stop you. We're going to clarify what's that. We're going to clarify what's that. For a lot of you, I see whatever is happening, it's happening for good. So accept this as uh, some divine intervention because yeah, see, Emperor, um, Six of Cups, there's some sort of adamant, some, some past experiences. Let's give it a good shuffle and uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter, December 2022. Cancer. Okay. Is this some, uh, is this talking about some sort of card that is still connected to the past? Cancer, are you still looking backwards to something or somebody? Are you still expecting somebody to arrive or, yeah? I do see a path. I do see a path in front of you. Okay. Cancer, where are you coming from? I see you turned away from something. Definitely there was a decision to not to look backward to something. And then something very unexpected happened. Wow. Okay. I I'm telling you it's a divine intervention. I'm getting this for... A lot of you since very beginning because I'm feeling that you're not looking in that direction as of now because your focus is backwards. You still feel that whatever you have turned away from recently, Cancer, I see there is a feeling you're still expecting something to come, somebody to come. Some I won't really say it's an expectation, but I see the cord is getting detached slowly, right? And for a lot of you, I see some tower moment took place, some very unexpected surprise, very unexpected shift has taken place. And you are getting attuned to the new normal, right? You are adjusting to the new normal. And for a lot of you, I see it's like a divine intervention. Can you see this angel here? Whatever unexpected, shocking situation you have been through, you are healing from it, right? I see this is something you're coming from. Let's move forward. Okay, Cancer. Let's move forward. What else? Let's see what are you going through right now. This is going to be a current energy and whatever you need to keep in mind. And then we take out some advices, uh, some future outcome. When I say outcome, outcome simply means that this is something that you have to keep in mind. You definitely have the free will to change the outcome. That's what tarot is used for, right? Universe is giving you guidance to make the right decision here. Okay, a lot of cards flipped over. We're not taking them all. Okay, Cancer. I see, Cancer, that in the current situation, you're at a place where there's some sort of struggle surrounding management. This can be financial management. This can be deciding between two people. This can be simply just uh, being confused about your decision or what should I decide? What should I pick? Yeah, there is a confusion surrounding what should I do? For a lot of you, this is money management I'm feeling here. Empress, wow. Look at the major arcanas here. You know, Cancer, I see you overthinking because something you, you're walking away from something and it was definitely an epiphany moment for you, a 
very sudden change for you and you're definitely attuning to the new normal i see that that phase of adjustment is a little difficult that phase of adjustment is a little difficult here oh wow <laughs> cancer pisces scorpio oh no sorry aries the sat fire energy here i'm sorry you are worthy of something. Whatever changes are coming your way, remember that you're worthy of it. And universe has a plan here. If you can't, if you just, you know, I should just try to put your focus on the major arcanas coming out. Universe has a plan here, Cancer. And there is somebody, we're going to clarify what this person wants. Why are they here? What they want to say? We're going to clarify everything, of course. But remember that universe has a plan because whatever shift is happening a very unexpected shift is happening in your life and i see you already you've already been through that or you're going through it right now but uh, your struggle is justified yes because i see a lot of things are there in, in in front of you and it's very hard to manage all of them but empress is showing me that you're worthy of the changes coming your way and whatever universe is giving you you're worthy of it right for some of you i see once you come into your power your charisma your your charm back queen of okay, king of cups cancer pisces scorpio here you are this can be somebody you're dealing with this person here uh i see two people for some of you if you have to make a choice between two people i see you you're very clear uh, about where you have to head towards right what's your what's going to be your direction moving forward what you can expect yeah i told you i told you i see this person are you going to clarify what these energies have to say? They're showing up very strong in your readings. Holy. But it makes sense now. It's it's going to make sense, Cancer. In the near future, it's all going to make sense. Because whatever this energy is, wow, totally makes sense. Scorpio energy here. I feel that somebody is accepting that it's over and they're walking away see walking away eight of cups nine of pentacles ten of swords whosoever is there in your surroundings for some of you cancer i'm feeling here that you found your soulmate this is the real connection this is the real deal that you always needed that you always wanted or that you always deserved right that's that's your path that's your soulmate i'm telling you it's a very divine connection and i'm getting a feeling that that's the place where you have to be you can call it divine consciousness so as you move forward that's leading to leading you to growth prosperity i'm feeling that the change the moment that when this change happened it was like a tower moment for you because there is some third influence here but you're realizing that that is something i have to walk away from i still feel this person is stuck on you this all tied up energy they will eventually understand that that thing has to be concluded for very few of you i'm picking up that uh, as you decide to be in this connection as you choose this person and this person chooses you uh there's a cord getting detached there's a cord you're cutting a cord with somebody and that's leading to that big transformation in your life right that that's final thing it's gonna be big and it's huge it's all making sense for a lot of you i'm telling you that over this month in the upcoming days all this that you're going through, it's going to make sense. And you'll feel that, okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Why this tower moment took place? Why this unexpected change happened? Why it was so shocking? You know, why this shocking, um, whatever shocking thing is happening here with the tower moment, why it happened? It's all going to make sense. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Okay, I... Uh, winters. Winters. <laughs> It's very hard to shuffle now, okay. And I'm not shocked. See, King of Cups here again. Cancer, oh my god, King of Cups, okay. Knight of Swords, Two of Cups, and Ten of Swords. Uh, this came up like this. I'm going to take it like this. There's a past connection that's over in your life. Two of Cups in the reverse position, Ten of Swords twice. It makes sense. And very quickly, this person is entering the scenes, Knight of Swords, King of Cups. I see it happened very fast. It's happening very fast. But this connection is entering into your life very fast. And it's all going to make sense. Again, I'm telling you, it's all going to make sense. Just wait for the right time. I want to know, there's nothing much to... Um, clarify it's a it's a quite clear message but i i still want to know what's this tower moment you're turning away from something and that shift that end is a tower moment what was this thing that you've turned away from 
Five of Cups. There, there has been a missed opportunity in the past. You still might think that, okay, I missed that opportunity or it was lost. Four of Swords. Somebody was silent. They were on a break. They were not replying, not responding. King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person was cold, detached. And um, for a lot of you, I see they were manipulative too. Page of Wands, Magician. Yeah. For a lot of you, I feel somebody was trying to... Um, I see lack of seriousness because uh, Four of Swords, King of Swords, they were having some expectations, can be anger, can be agitation. But uh, whatever happened with this person was like a tower moment. For a lot of you, I see in the month of November this happened or even over this. Okay, and for a lot of you, you just didn't see this new contract coming. For a lot of you, this has already happened. But for the rest of you, this new contract, Hierophant, King and Queen of Cups. This new contract, this new connection happened really fast. And I'm just getting a feeling that this new connection is the connection that's going to heal you. It's the connection that's going to bring, bring that peace, that serenity, and everything you deserve. The worth you deserve. This person is bringing that worth, right? And um, it's a very sensitive and emotional connection. It's, it's not a... Cancerians are sensitive people. You guys are sensitive. You you put your heart into your connections and for your loved ones. So I'm getting something on that front. It can be a Scorpio you're dealing with here. And for a lot of you, you were wondering about a missed opportunity, but very quickly this new thing happens and you're like, okay, I'm walking away from the past nonsense. I'm really not looking backwards anymore. Though I do see you still have some card connected that needs to be detached. What do you want to say, King of Wands? What do you want to say? Okay, King of Pentacles, like all the kings. I've seen all the kings in this reading. Some big decision making is there. Some, <coughs> I'm sorry. Wow. I'm picking up a lot of money matter, a money thing involved in the picture also. This person wants to bring back the stability. I see you have been really, uh, the money management was a little difficult in the recent past, but now... You are definitely um, becoming stable. Ace of Wands. It's very new. Page of Cups. All right. And Five of Swords. For a lot of you, I'm feeling here that this new connection coming your way, it's coming very fast. It's happening very fast. The passion is very strong. I see little emotional expression is also starting with the Page of Cups. You know, the love is huge. But what, what is being expressed here is... Minimal, right? But Five of Swords shows me that somebody is not talking about the transformation. For a lot of you, I see... For a lot of you, I see you both are going through this transformation and you're keeping secrets about the past you both had. And for the rest of you, I feel that um, you're deciding to keep it a secret. I do pick up some manipulation, but really, this connection is very strong. Somebody wants... You to chase them or vice versa? Where is this heading? High Priestess. You're divinely connected. Nine of Pentacles. The past is over now. Five of Cups. Four of Cups, I'm sorry. Whatever you have turned down, whatever you have rejected in your life, Cancer, I see that it was all um, meant to happen this way. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I see this as a sign. It was meant to happen. And you're divinely guided, you're divinely connected. Just embra embrace the change. Just embrace the change. High Priestess with the death, embrace the change coming your way. Beautiful energy, beautiful energy here. Okay. I know, I'm just getting this feeling that this change is very difficult and it's very hard to still accept that things have transformed so fast. But it's happening this month for you. Messages for cancer, please. Messages for cancer. Wow. Work, professional, college, workplace. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that something can be a workplace romance. For the rest of you, I see you dealing with something very professionally. Dating queen. And that totally makes sense because I've seen four kings on the table, right? This can be you having these different sensitivities for a particular person you're dealing with. But for the rest of you, I see... Multiple opportunities and dates in abundance. And finally, you be with the one. King and Queen of Cups, the soulmate connection. Finally, be with the one you 
about children. For a lot of you, I see some childlike fun you can expect this week. Yeah, over the next week, I'm picking up some childlike fun, some, some childlike expressions. Uh, I'm picking up a very childlike, you know, connection for some of you, and it's new love. Cancer, just let it happen. I know it's very hard for you to detach yourself from something from the past and you're feeling that okay, an opportunity has been missed and you still look backwards to something. But whatever new is coming your way, it's going to be worth it. Really, it's going to be worth it. And <laughs> I'm just feeling that you'll thank your stars that, uh, you know, this, the kind of abundance, Empress energy, the kind of abundance that's coming in, it's all going to be worth it. What else? Cancer, what else? Anything else? Journal, it's time to just jot down your experiences. For a lot of you, I see a lot of planning and plotting. Not really plotting. I'm just feeling planning is happening. You might be uh, arranging some new thing for this person. For some of you, I'm picking up wedding bells here, right? Some journaling is happening for that. Cross. Uh, for some of you, I see you, you shared a very spiritual bond with somebody or some, some sort of spiritual outlook is involved in this scenario. Moon, yes, there are there have been some hidden emotions, some illusions surrounding the past that's getting over. And um, I see a ring. Yes, it's a commitment. It's a commitment, Cancer. And the, the right person is here. I see. And for a lot of you, it's a new person. I don't really feel that whoever you're committing to or settling with is, is some old person. Uh, if you're open for new love and if you're open for some new connection in your life, yes, it's going to be a new connection, a new person in your life. And uh, Shep, it's time to move on. It's time to move on from any negativity of the past, from any disappointments of the past, because universe is here to offer you some beautiful new abundance, right? Oh, okay. This has been a very, very, very beautiful reading, Cancer, and I feel... Um, it's going to make sense in the near future. Whatever is coming your way, it's all going to make sense. So just wait for it. I'm leaving you here, Cancer. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.